finally getting around to making a video that you guys have been asking for for years. This is probably the first time ever that I've had my tackle so organized. So today I'm making a tackle box video. Showing you guys the main stuff that I use. I have more than this back home. A lot of the extra stuff I have is just junk. But this is like the main useful stuff that I that I have. First boxes up the plate here are my bucktail jig boxes. I have another video showing how I make these standard tackle trays into bucktail jig trays by inserting these foam pieces under pressure. You know, it keeps them nice and organized, keeps the hair from tangling up, which is important with bucktail jigs. Towards the bottom, I have some plastics also. I get most of these plastics from Bass Pro Shops. They're paddle tail jigs, there's a tube jig, um, some curly tail jigs. But most of the stuff in here is uh, custom bucktail jigs made by Don. You know, he runs the Jigs and Things page on Facebook, and that's where he uh, takes orders from if you wanted to get some for yourself. But I got a wide variety of colors here. A lot of the colors that I have the most of are the ones I use the least of because uh, I tend to run out of the hot colors like brown and yellow. There's a nice pretty one. Hasn't been used much. Some of them have zonkers, some of them don't. Um, provides a different action to the jig. You know, each year I'll end up uh, losing a lot of these jigs and then refilling the boxes with a fresh order. Next up, I got curly tail jigs, paddle tail jigs, and jig heads. This box has a bunch of Bass Pro Shops brand, um, typically harder plastic curly tail jigs and some paddle tail style jigs. Um, it has a row of uh, jig heads towards the bottom. These are all Bass Pro brand, I think. And then these are Don's custom uh, jig heads that he pours himself with an extra wide gap hook. Uh, mostly eighth ounce but some sixteenth and some quarter ounce also. Over here these are all Don's um, extra soft style curly tail jigs. They're a softer plastic than than these uh, name brand ones come in. These ones tend to be a little harder but these can still be good for a lot of situations so I get a variety of both and then I pick and choose depending on what uh, fishing I'm going to be doing. Next up, I got some more jigs, but these are all smaller jigs or micro jigs for panfish mostly and for uh, picky game fish. Um, over here, I got a whole bunch of uh, Don's 16th ounce bucktail jigs. So they got a smaller gap hook and a lighter head, but they're the same style as the 8th ounce bucktail jigs. In here, I got a whole rack of uh, marabou jigs. And then down here I got some curly tail jigs and a couple more bucktail jigs. Over here I got uh, an assortment of small curly tails, um, small paddle tails, small uh, uh, crappie plastics, and a whole bunch of bobby garlands in here and here. And then some more curly tails and other weird uh, plastics over here and got some like some of these beetle spins and stuff like that in here just some miscellaneous stuff and then uh, some smaller jig heads a whole bunch of them um, for to use with these uh, plastics here This one's pretty self-explanatory. You got two bins here, mostly Rapala lures, uh, jerk baits, stick baits, crank baits, and slash baits. Um, each one of these little compartments here is two Rapalas deep. So if I take any of these out, generally it's the same one underneath it. And 
they're all like that. So it's double decked all the way across. This box here, I got a variety of uh, stick baits and crank baits, mostly crank baits. Some of them lipless, most of them have lips though. And new this year, this isn't very important, but I feel like showing it anyway. I have the bumblebee and the grasshopper. <laughs> this is where I just keep most of my cranks and stuff. This box has all sorts of spoons and spinners, mostly spinners, but the spoons are still pretty significant. They're tucked in down here and over here a little bit, but all these guys are spinners. They're pretty much categorized by shape and because the different brands have distinctive shapes and how they make their spinners, they're basically categorized by, style, by uh, brand. So all these pretty much are going to be Panther Martins. And a lot of these other ones are maps and other brands. This box is kind of light, but it's one of my favorites. It's full of uh, subsurface stuff and topwater stuff. Across the middle here are a bunch of micro buzz baits. These guys, these are some of my favorites. Towards this corner, I got variety of spinner baits and then underneath them I got chatter baits. And there's a little spinner bait there. Down here I got some bigger buzz baits. This one's a custom one from Don. So he'll tie anything up. Underneath that I got some bigger top water lures like this dying flutter. Um, and another prop one. Over here um, got some prop and pop baits and skitter walks and stuff like that. Over here I got jitter bugs. Down here I have hula poppers and rats. And that's about it for this box. This box has my catfish stuff. It's basically a bunch of circle hooks, bait holder hooks, some octopus hooks, um, barrel swivels, maybe a miscellaneous pack of three-way swivels and normal swivels and then some treble hooks and a whole bunch of weights. Uh, most of these hooks are around seven knot. Some are bigger, some are smaller. This container has all my bait fishing stuff for panfish and game fish other than catfish. It's kind of tough to see but each of these bags across the top is uh, a consolidated number of hooks and each one's or, or swivels and each one's a different type so this one's just standard swivels this one's a whole bunch of barrel swivels um, many of these packs are like I said are 10 packs put together or something like that um, these are Aberdeen's over here these are octopus and across here I got a variety of like treble and bait holders. Some of them fuller than others, but most of them are really full. Across the middle here, I got a variety of weights. Not all of them are true weights. Some of them are nuts and, and washers and stuff, but they all work. Um, down towards the bottom I have casting bubbles, bobbers, slip float knots, uh, slip floats and then these are all weighted floats over here I got some spawn net stuff and then over here I got a whole bunch of snells from different auctions and up here I got some wires wire for wire leaders and that's about it for this box these boxes here are both loaded with miscellaneous stuff stuff that I just couldn't find a home for mostly uh, plastics some jigs that are already assembled hooks weights over here um, these are all jigs that are assembled already some of them are wacky some are curly tail some are bucktail and some are uh, paddle tail
This big box here is loaded up with bass plastics mostly. It has worms, lizards, flukes, all sorts of other creatures. Got some bass jigs right here. And then if I flip it around to the other side. There's a whole bunch more plastics. And a few uh, jig head, uh, tube jig jig heads up top there. But a lot of these are swim bait style plastics. Like these are... Uh, these are Havocs right here, grass pigs. Over here, these are beet shads. And these are those swim bait style sassy shad knockoffs. So I have a whole bunch of stuff like that just stored up in this box. And then over here, I have a mini box full of stuff like that with some uh, worm hooks, some more uh, tube jig heads, some more bass jigs, some sankos, um, some uh, some different style typical jig heads for uh, some of these swim baits, and then a, a lone X wrap in the middle with uh, some more worm plastics right here. In this box here, I got my musky stuff. Got a little bit of top water, some stick baits, a lot of crank baits, um, some bucktail spinners here. It's all my big stuff. And then if I close this up here, open up the middle, should have more of the same. Some more top water and some more crank baits and some plastics. Stuff like that, spoons, giant daredevil. Here's some fly fishing stuff. I know I got more somewhere, but I don't have it with me. So this is what I got to show you. Last but not least here, I filled this garbage bag up with assorted soft plastics. Each year I'll go through a lot of these, um, a lot of gulps, a lot of tube jig bodies, and uh, a lot of uh, sassy shad knockoff bodies. So that's what the bulk of these are. Um, most of them I think are, are paddle tail style jigs and tube jigs. But there's still some Sankos in there and there's some other uh, swim bait style jigs. There's some curly tail jigs. Um, some of my favorites out of these are these little black crappy max sassy shad knockoffs, um, the black and clear ones. These blue ones are killer. These three inch pearl black back. I'll buy a lot of those each year. I buy these little tube jigs for fall fish mostly. Um, these gulps I buy a lot of each year, um, especially the pearl ones for walleye. Um, the three inch or smelt colored, that's what they're called. And then these guys for smallmouth bass, I buy a lot of each year. Watermelon, red fleck, tube jigs. Other than that, it's just miscellaneous stuff that I pick at. Sankos and other um, paddle tail style jigs mostly. And some worms and some curly tails. And that's about it. I also figured you guys might want to see my rod and reel setups for this year. At least the main ones for open water. So, first here I got my main workhorses. There are three identical, identical setups here. Um, they're medium power, fast action, one piece BPS extremes. Each paired up with a Fluger President. These are what I use when I'm jigging. Uh, they're what I use when I throw most lures for game fish. And they're what I use for bait fishing, even for pan fish. Um, so I use them for a wide range of situations. Also, I got here some extra lures that um, I forgot to add into the other parts. Extra bags of stuff. And 
finally I got these spare reels here. Another Fluger President, another Fluger President, and a Daiwa Legalis. A lot of times I'll use this for pan fishing too. This is just a little smaller and it holds four pound test better. Next up I got my eight weight Reddington fly rod. Sometimes I'll fly fish with it and sometimes I'll add a spare reel to it and bait fish with it with the uh, mono and drifting egg sacks for trout. These are going to be my catfish rigs for this year. They're both uh, Tangling with Catfish Whisker Whip series rods paired up with Cat Max Bass Pro Shops reels. Last but not least here, I got my musky set up. It's a 8 foot 6 inch extra heavy fast action St. Croix Premier one piece rod. I have it paired up with a Daiwa Saltist. And all around it here I have an assortment of uh, bulldogs I forgot to show earlier, plus a little spinner bait and uh, a couple bucktail spinners and this big old five of diamonds.